Hey guys, in the fast lane here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a fuel pump in a 2003 Mazda B2300. Now, this pertains to pretty much all the Mazda B series and the Ford Rangers. It might be a different part number, but if you need to purchase the parts in this video, it'll be underneath my video. It'll say shop this video. I always pin it to the top comments. If you're on my website, it'll say shop this video underneath the video. For safety precautions, go ahead and disconnect the positive terminal on the battery. Go ahead and open up your fuel door, take off your fuel cap. And we have three seven millimeters bolts we got to take out so we can push down this uh, the fuel neck and then slide back the bed so we can get to the fuel pump. All right, so back in the license plate area. If you come on under here, we got two wires. We got this one we got to unplug. And then if you follow this one up right here, this will go to your license plate. And this should be just this main harness right here too. I would just go ahead and take all these little rivets out because you don't know what's hooked to the bed. So when you start pulling off, you'll figure out which one's hooked. Just make sure you don't pull the bed off and try jerking on it because you'll end up breaking these wires right here so disconnect this one and follow the license plate one disconnect that now we have six t55 torx bits there's one over there one down here and then if you come all the way over here we have one two three four right there so take those out And that's all you got to do. You kind of need two people though. It's, it's a little difficult to do by yourself. Now in order to disconnect these clips, you're going to push the line forward and then push down on the top right here. So push down on the top and pull out. It's a quick disconnect. Basically, you push down on this piece right here, it's springy, and then pull out. And that's it. Make sure you don't get this stuff inside the line. Set that aside. And the same thing on this one, it's underneath. We're going to push this one in. There we go. Pull out. Set that aside. Same thing with these two. You got the green clip right here. You're going to push down, push, push in. It's easier to use a flat head or something. And then pull up. Now remember where these two go. These are the ones that look familiar. Now you're gonna just turn this ring. Now in order to turn this ring, you can get yourself a flathead and gently smack it with a mallet and get it to turn. It's gonna be counterclockwise, the opposite, not clockwise. There we go, it's a little springy. You can see it's actually spring loaded. So what you're gonna do is fold all this stuff in. We need to pull this ring off. Set that aside. There should be a gasket in here. Looks like we got some wires catching. There we go. All right, now remember which way this went. You get your two little nipples facing this way and you got your float switch right here you lift it just like that and that's it go ahead and remove the old o-ring gasket just clean up around it any kind of water or whatever's in there clean the threads a little bit 
where the ring would tighten on. So this new fuel pump kit comes with the clips in case you broke them off from these uh, connections. And then we got a new O-ring right here. So we're going to go ahead and put the new O-ring in right now. All you do is just put it around, line it up, just like that. Here's the brand new fuel pump and the old fuel pump. You can purchase all this on my website or underneath the YouTube video and say shop this video. Now it's good to pay attention to detail because on this one you got a filter and if you look on this one the filter fell off in the tank. You don't want this stuff in there. It's pretty much turning into like looks like it's biodegradable by now. Uh, turned into pretty much dust. Now I have to go back in the tank and I'll show you here in a minute I'm gonna get gloves on. The actual filter is actually left behind in the tank. If you look in the tank right now you're seeing the old fuel filter that literally fell off and it's stuck in the tank and if that got on the new fuel filter we'd be having some issues and probably lean conditions and everything so make sure you double check that. Oh, look at that nasty all right it's all cleaned out got all the big chunks out and I don't see any more fine little particles in there so we're pretty good it was pretty much big pieces in there now we're gonna take the new fuel filter and you want the float towards the back so what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift all these hoses out of the way come down at an angle like this just like that it's a tight little fit And then once you hit the bottom, don't freak out. Remember that spring this? You're just gonna get it straight down. And when you tighten it, this lid's gonna push down this little circle clamp. Make sure your O-ring's on there. You don't want it to slip off. Now we're gonna take the O-ring bolt, basically. Slide it over the wire, just like that. Push down, there we go, you got to keep it pressed down so that the threads lock onto that fuel tank. Alright, got it all the way as tight as my hands can go. Now I'm just going to take the screwdriver and give it a few taps forward all right that's good move the fuel pump a little don't put too much pressure on these because they can snap off now go ahead and take off these protective covers take the original one if you want to replace the clips you can comes with new clips these ones are still good and they're actually a little bit different design on these ones so you go ahead and push forward all you do is push forward clicks pull back doesn't come off do the same thing to this one Pull that one off, slide it forward, click, pull back, make sure it's locked in. Same thing for these two. Pull this one out of here. And we got the longer one here. Lock that one in, it's locked in. That one's locked in. And that's it. All right, lastly, go ahead and plug your fuel pump in to the power plug. And if you have a clip, go ahead and put the clip to the frame back on. Now before you go putting this bed back on, make sure you test it out. Before I put this fuel pump in, we had no start. It would crank, but it wouldn't fire. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put gas in this right before we put the bed on, just to test it, make sure it works. There you go. Now pretty much all you're gonna do is set the bed back down, put your uh, fill port back in, your fill hose, and then put the bolts in. I'd spray some WD-40 on the bolts and make sure you hook up your connection, electrical connection in the back there. And then that's it.